All parties in the matter of Dixon versus Vassell. Step forward. Karen Dixon is suing her daughter, 20-year-old Jada Vassell, for cashing bad checks against an account in her name. Ms. Dixon, this is your daughter. She's 20. She's a college student. Yes, ma'am. She deposited some fake checks into a joint account that you have with her. She got the cash when the banks found out that they were bad checks, but your bank did was go to another account that you have and take the money out of that account. Correct. Okay, so that's what the case is about. And you want your 20-year-old daughter to pay you back the 4000 and some odd dollars that they took out of your account. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I want to know where the money is. From whom did you get these checks? It was a guy on my promo team at school. And name? His name is Joshua. Joshua what? What grade is he in? He's a junior. Did you tell your mother his name? No, I told her the name of the guy that he referred me to because he said he was going out of town. And his name is... Who's Joshua? He's a student that's on my promotion team at school. Did he give you the checks? No, I never received any checks. They, he uh, deposited them into my account himself and then he told me to go to the bank and withdraw them and then meet up with him and give him the $4,000. And then after that, he said he would call me the next day to give me my hat. Did, did you report it to the police? I was going to, mm -hmm. but I knew she was going to jail. And I'm trying but to help her. Just, just a second. She would only go to jail if she knew that they were doing something wrong. You didn't think you were doing anything wrong, did you? No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Joshua and Lauren what? Lauren... See I don't how this doesn't make sense to you? It made no sense to me whatsoever, yeah, Your Honor. Yeah, well, I have to tell you, the problem is I'm going to get the information and then you're going to report them to the police. Okay. Thank you. Let's start again. Okay. You gave who your bank information in order for them to deposit these checks? Josh. So you gave Josh your bank information so that he could deposit these checks. Now, let me hear the conversation that you had with Joshua. Josh told me that he was going out of town, so he referred me to his friend. His name is... Well, he goes by... But his first name is Lauren. And we were talking and he just told me that he was going to deposit $4,000 into my account and then once it hit, I should withdraw it and give it to him. And then he was going to deposit it back into my account. And then the day that we were supposed to meet up, he called me. He was going to deposit back into your account for what? That doesn't make sense to me. It's not even what you told me five minutes ago. Five minutes ago, you told me that you would meet up the next day, you would get your half. That's what you said five minutes ago. You remember that? And then you just said, well, he was going to take it out, put it in, then we're going to put it back the next day. So now I see what your mother's problem is because you were all part of the scam, right? I wasn't aware that it was a scam. No, what did you think it was? I don't know. I just, I didn't think he would do me or like try to, I didn't think Josh would try to scam me because we were in a promotion team together on school and we, we would be working together year-round. Well, where is he now? Around campus. Who got the cash? Lauren did, and he told me that. La just a second. Lauren, mm -hmm. last name. I don't know it off the top of my head, but. Well, let's just think about it. I don't want it off the top of your head. I want it from your brain. Lauren, you want to go call Joshua and ask what Lauren's name is? I can look it up. I have Good, to look it up. And his number. Are you getting happier now? I am, but... Uh, it, just a second, just, I'm just asking you if it, you're getting happier. If I get some answers, because I'll, this can happen again. And she's still my kid. I love her. So what'd you sue her for? Because I want my money. <laughs> <laughs> just a second. And that money was like a sad account that Maybe my husband didn't know about. Just, just a second. <laughs> and I had to tell him because the money disappeared. And so, you know, you have emergency accounts okay. for yourself on the side. Yes, you I, do. Just you just do. A, just a, Not you, I'm just, just saying. A <laughs> I have a big emergency account. <laughs> <laughs> it's all mine. 